Hey everybody, it's Raging Jeep, and I'm in the fattest possible position I could be in. Um, but uh, I was getting ready. Look at that. A little, little fluids there in the back of the T case. That's, that's no bueno. Anyway, that's a problem for another day. So I'm scoping out the, uh, the stock Dana 35, and uh, I was looking back here, and you really can't see it on the camera, but there's all these things now that I, of course, know a little more than I, I did 18 years ago when I bought this bad boy. The guys that put the, the original lift kit on, um, yeah, so the spring perches are rolled back. Um, you can't really see it on the camera, but they're, they're not right. Um, the track bar is whack. Um, now, granted, I do have a Genrite aftermarket uh, gas tank, but um, I'm going to have to, when I put the new Ford in, I'm going to have to figure that out because the tolerance behind that track bar, um, I can't even get my pinky finger between the two. Uh, and I imagine there's a little bit of flex there. I mean, definitely up and down, obviously. So we're going to have to check that out. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, um, just just everything. So they jacked up the the control arms. Um, you can't again see here, but the threads are stripped on one of the bolts. Um, it's it's amazing. It's lasted as long as it has. Um, but all of this will be replaced. But I thought it would be interesting to to take a before video. So here's the underside. Um, I do have my Slippy Oak Eliminator uh, when I rebuilt the T-Case after it was was stolen. Uh, so that's installed. So this will come off. That'll be nice. Uh, we'll get it all, uh, take it off, check it, uh, lube it up, and then uh, put it back on uh, the Ford. But the other thing that's going to be kind of nice is, again, you can't really see, um, but the uh, pinion angle is going to change. Um, I mean, not a lot, but one degree. One degree is a lot, um, but it will make everything very nice and pretty. Uh, and man, look at that pumpkin. Look how tiny it is. Look at little baby Danny 35. And uh, pretty soon, a little Ford 8.8 .8 in there. Yummy. So um, yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a, a show here. I mean, look at that poor muffler. After I get the axle in, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put uh, new exhaust on the bad boy. Probably go stainless, um, mostly because it's getting pretty cheap. Um, and or I'm making more money. I'm not really sure which uh, attribute to attribute to that, but yeah, it's it's um, it looks rusty. It is rusty. Um, I did poke it a little bit, and yeah, it's it's pretty rusty. So so there's that. Anywho. <coughs> um, yeah, interesting, interesting uh, geometry back here. I mean, look look at the damn shocks, right? They're all rolled up. It, it just, it's all wrong. Um, and it's not wrong, wrong. Like, it's not, it's not like the end of the world wrong. Um, everything's within tolerance, obviously, because I've driven it for damn near 20 years. But, man, uh, super sad. So can't wait to get the axle back from powder coat. And then we're gonna start building it out. So I gotta get on the stick, order some parts, um, get uh, get things here. I pressed the bearings on the axles the other day. So that's all ready to go. Um, but I gotta get uh, I gotta get the differential um, and of course all the other stuff. Um, ring gear, I mean, master install kit, uh, all the brake lines. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the control arms while I'm here, sway bar. Uh, and for all you yahoos that are like, oh, I don't need a sway bar. Yeah, you know what? You do. So you can just pound sand. Um, whether you think you need a sway bar or not, you know, that's really irrelevant. Um, next time you're driving 65, 70 miles an hour down the highway and you slam on the brakes, you tell me if you need a sway bar. Um, so 
we'll do that. And then while I'm also under here, I've been looking at these two inch body lifts. Um, these, these bushings, they are, they are no bueno. So I think I'm gonna have to jack the body up and replace those too, because they're pretty, pretty sad. So anywho, um, hope to see you on the trail soon. Be safe out there.